You know, sometimes the hardest part um, about exposure therapy is not um, it's not always leaving the house. Sometimes it's that um, it's when you're going out, right, and then you feel so calm, then you start asking yourself. Um, I'm pretty guilty of this myself when I started doing my non my daily um exposure therapy. I would say um to myself, okay. Uh, if I'm, let's say, if there's one day, um, there's, there has been a couple of times where I leave my house, I would ride my bike for an hour, um, I would say, okay, it's easy for me today, is it going to be easy for me tomorrow, how about the next day, how about the next day, um, you know, sometimes one day is easy, and then you start thinking about the next day, the next day, the next day, um, like I mentioned, I'm guilty of that myself, you know, sometimes I would say, okay, I can do it today, um, why was it so easy to live? Why was it so hard yesterday or the previous day? How is it going to be hard tomorrow? How about the next day? You know, sometimes we don't stay at the present moment. That's um, that's a lot. That's one thing about having anxiety. You know, we don't think about the present moment unless we're panicky. Um, we're going to start thinking, okay, I feel good today. How come I didn't feel good yesterday at this time? Uh, how am I going to feel tomorrow? You know, we don't think about when we feel good we think about okay we feel good right now but we start thinking oh great i feel good today um tomorrow i'm gonna feel just i'm gonna feel even worse just to make up for today you know that's one thing i'm guilty of myself but um you know sometimes the best thing to do is live in the moment if you're having a bad moment you realize you're having a bad moment right now that doesn't mean you're going to have a bad moment tomorrow at the same time. You might not even have a bad moment tomorrow. You might you might have anxiety for a year and then it goes away on its own because of the way you're... It's because of how you're treating yourself, how you... You know, how you... um You start welcoming the anxiety. You don't fear it, stuff like that. You know when you feel the anxiety? Uh, when I fear it the most, that's when my anxiety was the worst. When I didn't fear as much, I uh, I start welcoming it. I say, you know what? I'm gonna feel. If I'm gonna feel really bad, I'm gonna feel really bad. If I'm gonna feel really good, I'm gonna feel really good. I can't. I'm not gonna say I'm going. Oh, I'm gonna feel good. I'm gonna make myself feel bad. Oh, I'm feeling bad. I'm gonna make myself good. Feel good. If I'm feeling bad, I'm just gonna say, oh, it's gonna pass, you know. And a lot of times, like the worst panic attack I get. It always goes away, but you know, at that moment, it feels really bad. But once it go away, and you finally calm down, and then you start thinking, when's the next one? That's that's the worst thing I done to myself. I keep saying, oh great, you know, this is the worst one. How come my anxiety is getting worse? The next one's gonna be just as worse, and the next day it's gonna be even worse than worse. You know, um, but you know. The way I think now, that's why I don't really have that much negative what if thoughts. Um, if I feel a panicking, um, I just let it happen. You know, I let it calm down itself by doing my best to do what I'm doing. If I was watching TV and I have a panic attack, I'm not going to turn off the TV because if I turn off the TV, it's going to make me think that TV is the reason why I'm having a panic attack. If I'm Using the computer and I'm freaking out. I'm going and I tap the computer. I I quickly run up and sit down on my bed. I lay down. I'm going to think the computer is the the reason why I'm having a panic attack. You know, if if I'm talking to someone and I'm having a panic attack, and I tell that person I I can't talk to you, my brain's going to think that's the reason why I'm having a panic attack because of this person. But then you start realizing how many times have you used the computer? How many times have you talked to this person? How many times have you? done this and you never had a panic attack you know um so it's always the first time that you do something you have a panic attack that you try to avoid anyways here's some clips for me walking today